The menace of nuclear war represents a looming catastrophe with the potential to obliterate human existence. The hazardous effects would not only be catastrophic to civilization, but would also destabilize the natural equilibrium of the ecosystem. This naturally raises concerns surrounding the stopgaps against such disastrous events and whether subterranean sanctuaries, such as nuclear bunkers, could actually endure the harmful aftereffects of contemporary warheads. Let's unravel this complex predicament. The capacity of an underground haven to resist the destructive power of nuclear bombs is contingent on a pair of key aspects, the design of the shelter and the explosive details of the bomb itself. Therefore, when attempting to dissect this issue, a critical understanding of both bunker structures and nuclear detonation dynamics is indispensable. Remember that relative to traditional explosives, nuclear weapons possess an exponentially enhanced lethal potency. Nuclear detonations produce energy in four contrasting versions, a turbulently corruptive blast wave, radiant light, intense heat, and the potent yet unseen radiation. These explosions subsequently form a blistering fireball that obliterates everything in its radius. This surging ball then ascends, resulting in a trademark mushroom cloud that is as synonymous with nuclear explosions. As the intensity of the ensuing blast dies out, the cloud constituents cool into a radioactive dust ominously known as fallout, an aftermath that not only increases instantaneous destruction, but also spreads far and wide, affected by winds, imposing long-term ruin on an extensive area. A nuclear explosion's aftermath correlates to the height at which the detonation occurs. Subsequently, nuclear detonations can be classified based on the altitude of their occurrence, Primarily, high-altitude bursts occur in the ionosphere, more than 30 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Although their physical impact may be contained, the sudden influx of electromagnetic radiation due to the ionizing effects of the explosion on the atmosphere can severely disrupt sensitive equipment and communication networks. Air bursts occur at altitudes less than 30 kilometers above the Earth's surface and can be calibrated to amplify a specific effect, be it thermal, physical, or radiation-induced. Surface bursts transpire directly on or proximate to the surface of the Earth, causing widespread nuclear fallout. Subsurface bursts can occur either below the surface of the land or underwater, and are marked by familiar signatures like mushroom clouds and nuclear fallout. However, they also incite seismic activity, environmental pollution, and leave craters behind. Built underground, Bunkers are reinforced structures designed to shield armed forces and civilians from the havoc of warfare and are vulnerable to all types of nuclear burst patterns, except high-altitude ones. They are subsequently built of robust materials that are resistant to high temperatures, physical shock waves, and penetrating nuclear radiation. For the ultimate safety, the design of bunkers should be such that it can withstand the shock from the blast wave and protect occupants from excessive heat and radiation. Even with the sturdiest structure, it is noteworthy that no bunker can wholly erase the influence of contemporary nuclear offensives. The onset of nuclear detonations near or beneath the surface of the Earth can trigger seismic disturbances, which could greatly compromise the security of any bunker. Therefore, the size, depth, and thickness in bunker construction are crucial in deterrence during such cataclysms. Considering the aforementioned complexities, it is clear that the only sustainable way forward is not creating infallible bunkers, but reducing nuclear armament and restricting nuclear capabilities to benign purposes, such as clean energy.